Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Vibe 18RB travel trailer by Forest River. This is a small lightweight trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, run you around the inside and back to the outside of this new trailer. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new Vibe travel trailer here, and we are looking toward the slide out section here. So we're going to start kind of in the middle, small unit here. So it's going to be a little tight with the camera, but I uh, want to kind of show you everything. Slide out is electric. So you push a button, it goes in and out. We'll show you that at the end of the video with it all closed up. Um, you have a traditional booth dinette, and that does make into a bed. You have storage that'll pull out underneath the dinette area here that you're seeing pop up in the pictures and then a pretty good amount of storage there on the right of the dinette as well looking back toward the rear of the coach you have the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator by Everchill down below that is your electric box with your breakers and fuses to the lower left is also the propane leak detector down there. And to the left of the refrigerator is your furnace and air conditioning control on the wall there. To the right, you have more stores that you're seeing pop up there. Decent amount of space here in the kitchen area for a small RV. A couple drawers that pull out here. You can see the little furnace down below. A little bit of cabinet space underneath of the sink area right there as well. You have the Furion gas oven with the glass front, lights built in, along with the knobs. This is becoming a really popular oven that you're seeing in RVs. A uh, little cool feature here though is they have this little pull-out drawer. Kind of looks like the bottom of a house oven kind of deal. But it has a little pull-out drawer down there that's kind of cool. Then you have the glass stovetop cover, which gives you a little more counter space. I really like the big window as well right here, um, overlooking your campsite. It's nice and wide. It's not real tall, but it is nice and wide, and it does open about 50%, so it'll let in a nice breeze there if you need to. Then you do have a pretty good size TV that's on a little swing arm there, so you can angle that toward the couch and bed area if you want. Traditional microwave, it is a Furion microwave, which is kind of nice because it matches the Furion oven. Um, you do have your stereo system there with indoor speakers, and you're going to have outdoor speakers as well that you'll see when we get out there. Now, the unit also has a ducted air conditioner. This is a Coleman air conditioner, so it's a little bit quieter than the Dometic version, uh, but uh, it does have a ducted air, which is kind of nice because a lot of small units... Uh, just have a drop-in air conditioner. Now here on the side of the wall is actually your monitor panel control. So you have your water heater on gas button. It also has 12 volt tank heaters as well to help keep the tanks warm in the colder weather. Light switches, awning in and out button, slide out in and out button, fresh water tank, battery conditions, your gray and black tanks as well. Water pump also. A nice little feature there to just kind of control everything. Now looking back here into the bathroom area, you do have a little roof vent up there that you can see. Some storage. And a pretty good size shower as well. Foot flush toilet. Some storage below the sink. And a decent size medicine cabinet. So not a huge bathroom, but it definitely gets the job done. Uh, much nicer than some of the wet baths that you'll find in some of these small 18-foot campers. Spin back around here and show you the front of the RV. I look at two, toward the front section here. You have a Murphy bed setup. So that little couch will go down into basically a flat mode so that the queen bed will actually fold out. We'll pop up a picture there showing you that. But what's kind of cool about this setup is those actually recline as well. Uh, it has a little kick out foot recliner thing there uh, that you'll see pop up in the picture. 
So a lot of these Murphy bed styles are just regular jackknife couches where this one does give you a little bit of a kick out footrest. Hanging closet on both sides of the bed there. And you also see electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed as well. What's kind of nice, the TV, you can turn that so you can see it from the bed or from the couch, either one. A lot of linoleum floor throughout the coach. But overall, great little couples coach. Uh, we're going to take a few minutes and run you to the outside, and then we're going to bring you back in, show you what it looks like all closed up. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Forest River Vibe 18RB trailer here. And we're going to start here in the front section, walk you all around the outside, close up the RV, and show you what it looks like closed as well. Um, up here in the front of the RV, you have two 20-pound propane tanks, power tongue jack with an LED light built in, two and five 16 hitch ball, typical safety chains, Bargman plug, seven way, so it controls your lights and your brakes and all that type of stuff. Does have a hard bottle cover. And you can also see the hitch here uh, that the customer went with. They did an E2 weight distribution hitching system. And that's the headpiece laying there along with the brackets and stuff that's on the uh, side of the trailer there. There's a battery disconnect in the lower section there. And you also have a battery which is installed by the RV dealer. Three quarter fiberglass front cap with an LED light strip built in. That cap is stronger and just more reliable than the traditional roll front that you'll see on some lesser RVs. The unit has a power awning with an LED light strip built in. There's also adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. Large folding entry handle. Now these guys use the Lippert Solid Step. So it is a triple step, flips up in the doorway and then down to the ground when you're using it. So it is a little bit stronger, uh, less shaking of the trailer as you run in and out of the coach. Pass-through storage compartment here. You can kind of see the aluminum framing and stuff there. Um, also, you can see the weight distribution hitch bars that are laying in there as well. Again, those are optional. There's a lot of different brands of hitching that you can get for trailers. So definitely talk with your salesperson about that. The unit has heavy duty scissor jacks. They're manual jacks on all four corners. In the lower front corner here, there's also a pre-wire hookup for portable solar panel if you wanted to do a portable solar panel. Two speakers outside do have a little blue accent lighting in them. A decent sized window that opens there, which you've seen when we were inside in the kitchen area. And your stove exhaust out right there as well. They also do the wide stance axle suspension system. That wide stance axle actually does make the unit a little more stable when driving down the road. All right, coming on around to the back side of the RV here, you can see your spare tire there mounted on the bumper. It is a four inch squared tube bumper, which is pretty normal for an RV. It's where a lot of people store their dump hose. Um, also, you could do like an aftermarket bike rack and stuff like that will mount to those bumpers. In the lower right corner is your cable and satellite hookups. To the left of the spare tire there is the outside utility shower, hot and cold water along with your city water and black tank flush inlets, your detachable power cord. This is a 30 amp electric system and it comes with a power cord. It's roughly around 25 or 30 feet long. It does have a decent arch to the roof on the outside. So it helps with water runoff. So it's not a flat style roof. It is a full walk on roof. So you can get up there and walk around if you need to. Just remember to make sure there's nothing sharp stuck in your shoe tread so you don't damage a roof. Roof is also, or the back is also pre-wired for an observation camera or backup camera. 
and you can see that little black thing underneath the light up there. I would recommend the observation camera. It's pre-wired for Furion is who they actually set these up for. Uh, so I would definitely do the observation camera if that interests you so you can use it while you're driving. Back here on the lower corner here, you're gonna have your hot water heater, which is a gas and electric water heater. And you're also gonna have your gray and black tank dumps, which are located right down here as well. Now the unit is pre-set up for um, slide out awning toppers if you wanted to do a slide out awning topper. So it has these little brackets on the corners there. Uh, it's pre-set up for Solaire slide toppers. So if that does interest you, getting a topper to cover the slide, talk with your salesperson about that as well. Now going on around to the front of the RV here, you can see the other side of the pass-through storage. Your fresh water portable tank fill up is also right here. And we're gonna pop up some stickers here for your gross weight informational stickers, your tire sizes, and also the dry weight sticker as well. So you can see exactly what this camper came in weighing. Overall, a nice little RV here, lightweight, quick and easy to tow around, go to a lot of the different older campgrounds, some of the old state parks and stuff that don't let real big campers come in. This would be perfect for a couple to travel around and do that. Now we're going to close everything up and be right back here to show you what it looks like closed. All right, guys, we're back inside the RV and I wanted to show you real quick what it looks like closed. So this is going to be a little tight here, but wanted to show you uh, again, you have your slide button right here. So basically what this is going to do, we'll hit the button. It's an electric slide room. So you push a button, it just comes right on in, and you can stop it anywhere you want to. So that's a nice thing here. So if you are at a rest area and you need to get to that refrigerator, you can just bump it out a few inches or a foot or two, whatever you need to be able to use it. It doesn't have to go all the way in or all the way out. Uh, now, if it was raining or something like that, you would want to try and get it all the way out or all the way in if you're going to leave it there for a while. Uh, but if you're just doing a quick in and out kind of thing, then no problem. So when this closes up, you can see here, you can still get to your bathroom area. You still have full access to your kitchen area. Obviously, your area below your dinette you could make that dinette into a bed if you wanted to, so you could sleep on that area if you wanted. Um, you could also get to your cabinets over here and your cabinet areas for the bedroom section here. Now, this couch slash bed section will not come down with the slide out closed. So you would have to, one, sleep on the couch like this if it's just an individual, or somebody sleep on the couch here and somebody else sleep over on the dinette if you had to stop and couldn't put out your room for some reason. Um, but other than that, most of the stuff is pretty functional and easy to use and get to. Thanks for checking out my video, guys. Uh, again, check out Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. There's only one Couches RV Nation. There's a lot of people trying to use their name, play off of it with some other RV Nation type of names, tricking you into thinking it's them, and that is actually not them. So make sure you go to CouchesRVNation.com, guys. They'll save you a ton of money.